came to Chicago with $40 in my pocket. My son is now 12. I'm still married and I love my wife dearly. We had to make a living. I was younger than I am now and thought I needed more. I didn't believe in prohibiting people from getting the things they wanted. I thought prohibition was an unjust law, and I still do. Let's ask a question. How much did Al Capone weigh? <laughs> well, according to this information, approximately 250 pounds. 250 pounds. Now let's ask another question about someone. We're going to ask another question, similar question. How much did Fatty Arbuckle weigh? You know Fatty Arbuckle, the movie star. About 250 pounds! Hey! Could there be a connection with Fatty Arbuckle and Al Capone, Scarface, oh, the notorious feared gangster? Well, let's take a look at it and let's see what we can see. So, on the left, we got old Scarface. And on the right, we've got Fatty Arbuckle. You know, Fatty Arbuckle had to get out of acting because of a big scandal. That's right. He had to get out of acting professionally. But don't worry, Hollywood had... A great role for him, Al Capone. Well, you probably still don't believe, and that maybe isn't good enough for you, and that's okay. I, 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 I'm not mad at you if you say I disagree, or, oh, I don't think so, or whatever. I don't care. I just like making videos and getting it out there for you, okay? So we'll take a look at another thing with respect to El Capone and Fatty Arbuckle. And that is what are the whoop, <laughs> what are the approximate dates? What are we looking at in terms of of when they existed or when they acted or when they were on stage? Well, according to hoax history, Al Capone is born in 1889 and dies 1947. 
All right. Now he's the one on stage because he's being played by Fatty Arbuckle. So when is Fatty Arbuckle born? Well, Fatty Arbuckle is born 1887. And when does Fatty Arbuckle disappear? 1933. So you see, it's all a big joke. There were no big gangsters in Chicago. Oh, there were gangsters in your mind. That's right, gangsters in your mind. Now, why did they do this? Why do you take someone like Fatty Arbuckle and then turn him into a big monster that sometimes the public actually praised because he was doing good deeds? Why? Well, there's a couple of reasons. And one of the big reasons, one of the big ones, is that in 1933, anything that might have been considered lawful government was erased. And in place was substituted a phony government. So people in the 30s and 40s would fear these gangsters and not have any idea in the world that the United States of America was bankrupt and all lawful government ceased and the nation was put in a state of emergency and it has continued to be in a state of emergency since 1933 well, if you're worried about an Al Capone, you won't ever let your mind think about the deception of the invisible gangsters who control a hoax, phony government. So, in the 30s and even up into the 40s, all the gangster movies were very, very popular so that the public would be so worried about these gangsters, these Hollywood-created gangsters, that they would never realize that the real gangsters were the ones who were taking on phony roles and telling you they were government. So, there you have it, Al Capone, Scarface, was just simply Fatty Arbuckle. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, end of video.